So I just took a measurement of these on the truck one that's about 10 and a half inches where the uh, LS2 is about six. <clears throat> so you're getting a good four inches there. And the F body pan compared to the truck pan is five and a half instead of eight and a half. So you're getting a full three inches there. So that's seven inches off the height. Well, this turned out to be poor planning on my part, but in my defense, the Camaro oil pan wasn't supposed to be here for a while, um, and I was going to run this as is. But uh, with the drain plug back here, that's going to be kind of a nightmare to get it to drain not all over everything. But I've got one of these little cardboard corners from shipping. I'm wondering if that's going to work. So I made these support legs for this thing because the uh, uh, engine stand did not look happy with this LS on it. So um, I'm going to take intake manifold, accessories, all that stuff off um, just so there's a little less weight on it so I can spin this thing around. Um, this is how I'm going to run it on the engine stand though. I definitely wanted a decent amount of support for that. Okay, I just took a bunch of weight off. Um, in theory, when I unbolt these little support struts that I made, it should sort of spring back up. Let's see if it does that. Oh, yeah, this thing is still super sketchy. God damn. Okay, I took a ton of weight off this thing. Um, wiring harness, intake manifold, accessories, exhaust manifolds, all that stuff. Let's see if it's still god awful when I put the weight back on the stand. Jeez. That really hangs low, man. That is freaking nuts. And there's not much weight on there. That's kind of crazy. Heavy duty, my ass. This says it'll hold a thousand pounds. <laughs> it's damn near tipping over with, I don't know, what is this, 400, 500? Yeah, look. Look how bad that is. These are all bending. That's really uh, not good. Okay, so we're going to say piss on that piece of junk. Um, that will probably get cut up and turned into a transmission cross member for Breda or something. Uh, borrowed this one from my brother-in-law. I'll have to pick up one that's... Uh, this is only hobo freight, but way better than that Amazon one that I got. I'll put a link in the description to the one that I got on Amazon so you know not to buy it. But uh, this is going to work a lot better. So for the F-body pan, this is going to have to get cut across here, and it looks like oil pump pickup that I got on eBay is actually not going to fit the pan. I'm going to modify the pan, though, rather than get another one of these, because this is rear sump rather than like the mid sump, which is what the LS1 pan is supposed to be. Um, but I think this will actually be better being a rear sump.
Well, I've certainly seen cleaner engines, but I've also seen worse. Well, I'll run it. Okay, so eBay says this pickup tube is for an LS1 Camaro 98 to 02, but there is zero chance that actually works with this LS1 pan. Um, that's like a mid pickup, and then this is quite a ways back. Um, but I have heard that's actually the drawback of the LS1 pan. It's the fact that it's a mid pickup, and you can uncover the pickup if you're really accelerating hard. So what I'm going to do is modify this and keep this pickup tube, uh, since it's more of a rear sump uh, pickup. And uh, maybe that will be a happy little accident. No bueno. I tried it anyway, but a uh, closer look told me that this oil uh, level sensor is probably going to have to occupy the same space as the sump pickup, and it does, so that will not work as is. Okay, so that sump sits in exactly the same spot as those support ribs. Uh, so this still could work if I deleted the oil level sensor and cut these ribs out of here. Um, I have sort of had the idea in the back of my head to uh, make some trap doors for this and make it more similar to my Road Race Moroso pan I have for my small block in the Camaro. And uh, that could work maybe. Um, or I can try and figure something else to make the actual LS1 uh, oil pickup tube work better with this arrangement here. Alright, so today we're going to take this uh, $85 LS1 oil pan it has this uh, kind of cheapo baffle in it. And we're going to fix it up with some trap doors. And the trap doors are just uh, hinges from Ace Hardware for like six bucks a piece. Uh, should be way cheaper than the like, uh, I think it's called like improved racing or something, oil pan baffle for the LS ones. And uh, it'll be close enough. 